by due respect to the brothers and elders, I want to say one thing. Jannah is massive. Paradise is massive. Quran ayat wa jannatin arduha ka ardis sama iwal ard. Uiddat lilladina amanu billahi wa rusulih. Zalika fadlullahi yu'tihi man yasha. Jannah is massive. How sad it is if we do not get a chance to go into Jannah. Just think about this. How sad is it if we do not get the chance to go into Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us Iman. We didn't ask for it. There's so many people that have left this world without Iman. I was reading a story, I was listening to a talk the other day. There's a Hafiz of Quran. Who? A Hafiz of Quran. Memorized the Holy Quran. And he never touched the Quran his entire life. He never touched the Quran. When he was passing away as a youngster on his deathbed, he said to the family, push this Quran away from me. It's easy for us to say Astaghfirullah, but if you don't follow the life of Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then we're going to walk the same path. We're going to walk the same. What difference is there between us and Him? There's no difference. He says, push the Quran away. And He says, play music so my, can, so my soul can live with ease. So my soul can live with ease. This is someone that has a hafiz of Quran. What guarantee do me and you have that we're going to live with Iman? If you don't practice what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shown through the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then what guarantee have I got? You know, Jannah is amazing, guys. Jannah is shocking. Jannah, you know, a person's mind cannot comprehend Jannah al firdaus And you know, the biggest thing, the biggest gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us in Jannah is you will be able to see and talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine that. <laughs> Can your mind even go there? You will be able to see and talk Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Direct. There's no hijab. How many curtains, how many hijabs of nur are there between a human being and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Someone must know. 70,000, mashallah. There's 70,000 curtains between Allah and His servant. Musa alayhi salatu was salam said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, I hear you speaking. Kalimullah, I hear you speaking. You've got such a beautiful voice. I want to see you. I want to see you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, like it mentions in Quran, that it's impossible for you to see me. Impossible for you to see me. And Musa alayhi salatu was salam still, still says, he says, Ya Allah, I want to see you. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes just one veil, one curtain. And the tajalli comes on the mountain and it reflects. And Musa alayhi salatu was salam just sees this and he's unconscious for how many days? How many days is he unconscious for? 40 days. 40 days he's unconscious. Yeah, in Jannah you will be able to see and talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. I was listening to a talk in uh, Marcus yesterday. I'm from Dewsbury Marcus. My roots are from Dewsbury Marcus, okay? And occasionally what happens is I miss Marcus. It's daft to be honest with you, it doesn't sound right, yeah, but I miss Dewsbury Marcus. I just want to go there and I just want to sit there and I just want to, I just want my time. So I went there yesterday, I went there yesterday before Asr and then I got there before Asr, read Asr Namaz and I thought they're just going to do a little bit of zikr and stuff like that, yeah. But there was a guy that did Bayan. Honestly, that Bayan was next level. Alhamdulillah. And I'm going to just tell you one thing from there. I'm going to tell you one thing from there. This person says, he says, in Jannah, you will see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly, face to face. One level of Jannah is, one level of Jannah is that you will go and see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala weekly. You will go and see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala weekly. And he says that when the people will go to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they'll talk directly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after talking to them, he will say, go now. And they'll say, no, Ya Allah, we want to talk to you. No, we don't want to go. Allah, Allah will say to them, go back into your own paradise. Go back into your own palaces. Go back to where you came from, meaning your Jannah. They'll say, no, Ya Allah, we want to talk to you. Allah will say, go 
and then come back next week. One day is equivalent to 1,000 years in Jannah. <laughs> Shocking, guys. One day is equivalent to 1,000 years in Jannah. He'll say, come back next week. You'll come back after 7,000 years. He'll say, come back next week. You'll come back when? After 7,000 years. Imagine seeing Allah. Imagine talking to Allah. Imagine asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he says, there's another level of Jannah. There's another level of Jannah. And he says, in this level of Jannah, people will see and talk, Allah, talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first thing in the morning and, first, and the last thing at night. Allahu Akbar. Ask those people that have fallen in love at a young age. Jinko ishq hua hai. They get up in the morning, their eyes open afterwards, and first they check, has my darling messaged me? Yeah? Jinko ishq hua hai. Ask those people that have fallen in love the last message that they send. You're seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the morning. You're seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at night. And then you know there's another level. It gets better. There's another level. He says, the person doing the talk, he says in Ma'arif al Quran, Jild number 8, page 6 to 3, under the 13th verse, he says, This is mentioned. He says, Allah's created a Jannah for a person, for people. And in there, there's a door. In their paradise, there's a door. And they have got VIP service to see and talk to Allah whenever they want. Don't you want that? What are we chasing? An R32 in this dunya. <laughs> what are we chasing? A Lamborghini in this dunya. You're not guaranteed. I've sp spoken to so many people, sorry, I've spoken to so many people that say, you know, when I own 10 houses, yeah, I'm gonna relax. Now there's a new thing, yeah, chillax. Chill and relax together, yeah. There's no chillaxing. There's no relaxing. There's nothing. The same person at the age of 20 that was saying I was gonna, I'm gonna chill out at the age of 40, he's still grafting away. Find me one person that's chilling today. Unless it's Bradford guys, yeah. yeah. Find me one person that's honestly worked for their money and chilling today. I ask you one question guys. Do we not wanna be with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Jannah? Do you not wanna be with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Jannah? Do you not want to be with Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een in Jannah? Do you not want to, do I not want to sit with Khalid bin Walid radiallahu ta'ala and, and ask him? One is we hear the stories, don't we? One is your, he's telling you directly. He's saying, this is what happened, this is what happened. Don't you want to sit with Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala an? Don't you want to? Don't you want to sit with Uthman ibn Uthman? Ghani radiallahu ta'ala an. Do you not want to sit with Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala an? Do you not want to sit with the Kibari Sahaba? Do you not want to? But do you really think that the lifestyle that we're living is going to get us there? Do you really think the sacrifices that the Sahaba made and the non-sacrifices that we're making today we come from Juma to Juma? Do you really think we're going to be on the same level of you know, Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, let alone Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So my dear respect to brothers and elders, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, He's given us time in this dunya. And if you don't sort yourself out, one day this dunya will have dunya. <laughs>